What is going on? I am Zedmod, and today we are going to attack the third boss base. Now, this base is a little bit special. It's down in the bottom left-hand corner. And the reason why it's special is because it's got a beacon behind it, just like way, way up here. There's a distressed beacon, and that means there's a hero sitting there, and we're going to unlock Dr. Kevin Kavon. Now, you can tell where the boss bases are by tapping on them. If you go through and click... Uh, let's see if we can find one. Suspicious activity. So that means there is a boss base right there. You don't have to waste your time looking for resource bases or anything like that. You can tell that it is a boss base. So you can actually unlock your regions towards that, hoping to get it. Now, obviously, you have to have the correct radar level. Now, for Dr. Kevin Kavon, in order to unlock him, you have to have radar level 7. We are on my older son's account, and he was very, very excited to upgrade his radar. Now, a little bit ironically, in order to beat this base, the best way to do it is with warriors. And when once you have Dr. Kevin Kavon, your warriors get way, way stronger. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rush for the headquarters and we're going to try and take it out now i'm gonna stick with uh we've got sergeant brick loaded obviously she's our only hero yo you may or may not have battle orders i would probably use battle orders for this but instead we're going to stick with cluster grenade just in case you haven't upgraded your brick i don't want you to have to rely on an ability you don't have necessarily now this account has very very low level stuff landing crafts are all level five as you can see he is able to upgrade all of them gunboat is level seven also able to be upgraded now armory level one warriors level five artillery i don't think we're going to be using any artillery maybe towards the end if we get into a bit of a panic uh, med kit level four and his flare is level one, sorry level no smoke screen yet but flare if we can find it is level two on its way up to level three should be done very very soon anyways you get the idea very very low level uh, we've got some idols here gunboat energy five percent pretty useless uh, tr troop health nine percent that might be a little bit helpful and then gunboat or sorry troop damage five percent so overall you likely have statues at least this good uh, he has not made many statues yet has not attacked a heck of a lot as you can see by the fact that sitting at about 72 victory points so we're going to get into this let's have a quick look down here now there are two ways to do this that um, I could think of and that generally the community has agreed upon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you both of them and then you can decide what you want to do. You either go back around here and to the headquarters or you come back around here and remove all of this stuff. Primarily, primarily you're looking to get rid of the super mortar. The super mortar has no blind spot unlike most mortars and it shoots huge huge projectiles that do tons and tons of damage so as we can see here it covers the entire headquarters so either we have to remove it or we have to shock it because it's going to ruin our day otherwise now going back here is going to use a bunch of flares and then you're going to have to use one shock to get all of this stuff shocked and then we're going to have to run towards the headquarters or alternatively we can come up here remove all of these supply chests remove the sniper tower and then run back to here and try and shock all of this stuff so uh we're gonna go right now going left going left is good but you have to use a lot more flares and then you've got to have a pretty good shock in here and you're going to lose troops to the cannon that's there maybe to the sniper tower probably not but it's just it involves a bit more timing and a bit more just I'll say I'll say skill basically timing and your flares and all of that sort of stuff so we're gonna go to the right hopefully hopefully uh, we'll do well and we'll find out very very soon here as you can see the headquarters has 29,000 health which is not a lot but when you have level 1 warriors it's going to be a bit of a slog for sure now um, one thing that we're going to do is we're not going to flare the headquarters. We're going to let them run and spread out. I'm going to try to hit right about here so that uh, they'll spread each direction. So Because the super mortar is going to shoot slowly. We're not worried about the super mortar hitting us while we're cleaning. Because 
As the troops run up, the super mortar shoots very slowly and the projectile is also very slow, so it's going to land behind them. It's not a big deal, especially with warriors. They're a pretty quick troop. Anyways, that is enough of that. Let's see if we can unlock Dr. Kavon. Now, his name is not actually Kevin Kavon. That's just an ongoing joke. I like to call him Dr. Kevin Kavon. Hopefully, you do as well. What else do we need to show you? Oh, gunboat energy. Let's quickly have a look and show you how much gunboat energy we have. We only have 26 gunboat energy. This is about half as much as a maxed out gunboat. So going to be a struggle for sure. Need to conserve our gunboat energy. And as you saw there, our artillery is only going to do a thousand damage. So it's not going to be terribly helpful. Like if we, for example, were to attack and just rush in and try to use our artillery to get rid of that super mortar, all of our gunboat energy is gone, and it's got about half of its health, maybe 60% of its health. So that is definitely, definitely not a strategy that I recommend. Now, the beauty of this is you can try as many times as you want. Uh, try, our, try using your artillery. If you have barrage, give that a shot. You can do test hits just to see what you're comfortable with doing. Uh, we're going to just hit it live. I have not done any test hits on this. Usually I do, but we're just going to run in. This flamethrower is not going to be much of a concern because our warriors can actually heal themselves. If you're not familiar with warriors, warriors do heal themselves, so that should not be a concern whatsoever. Anyways, we're going to get running. I'm going to drop Brick first because she might take a, at least one shot from that sniper tower. And then I'm going to shock it. Um, this is not necessarily required, but now we need to get running. Get running. We're going to get away as that super mortar arcs over our heads. And then as they get to their landing spot, you want to throw a shock on. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it's going to shoot and take out all of them at once as we're about to see here. Oh, there goes the projectile as it comes down and just crushes at least three or four of our warriors. But in the meantime, we've beat the headquarters. Probably should have used that artillery sooner, but nonetheless, look at all of this loot. Just huge, huge, huge loot for low levels. One crystal, three shards, and seven fragments. I actually said it right that time. So only lost three warriors, and we actually get five victory points. Now these victory points are pretty great because if we go back to our map here, you watch our supply chest there. Our supply chest loads up, and we can claim our supply chest as well. So a little bit of a bonus that I had never thought of before. When I cleared these, we never got the um, the supply chest was not actually a thing. So if you don't necessarily want to clear your map, you can actually pick up those supply chests. And as a result, we've got Dr. Kevin Kavon here. So now Kev Dr. Kevin Kavon, I've got a whole other video. If you check the cards, I show you how to use Dr. Kavon with warriors. Hint, please do check the cards. Kavon is so, so incredibly fantastic with low level warriors. Later on, he gets to be less useful, but at this level, he's just so, so incredibly useful. Now you'll notice I filled my storages on this account were already full. I say mine, it's my son's. Anyway, I don't want to cause confusion there. The storage on this account were full, so probably not the best time to attack. Probably should have started one of these upgrades before doing so, but nonetheless, uh, lots and lots of great, great resources, and uh, hopefully this helped you beat Hammerman's HQ level 25, the third of the bases. If you haven't seen my other ones, I've got level 20, level 10, level 20, 25, 30, and now, and 40. So trying to get all of the boss base, and 45 for that matter too. We might have a full set. Nonetheless, that's it. That's all. I'm Zedmot. Now, actually, you know what? Let's do a quick tutorial on Dr. Kevin Kavon. Might as well. We've got, I wanted to get this video to 10 minutes, and we're sitting at 9-11. So Dr. Kevin Kavon galvanizing presence this is a fantastic ability basically reduces the amount of damage your troops do so not only does he heal your troops he also reduces the damage required to be healed so with warriors they're going to heal themselves he's going to reduce their damage and he's going to heal them now i do not recommend spending any hero tokens on dr kavan the crystal critters they're fine at level one the ice shields are decent for warriors, but brick is better for warriors at a le later level. So 
and also second wind second wind a lot of people really like second wind i have never drank the kool-aid so not my thing just upgrade him spend your gold get him upgraded he is quite expensive to upgrade but he reduces more damage does more healing and as a result gets more and more useful so that is how you use warriors to unlock Dr. Kavan, beat Hammerman HQ level 25, and get all sorts of loot in the process. If I've missed something, if you have any questions at all, please do ask them in the comments and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I'm Zedmot in widescreen for the first time for the boss bases. Hopefully you enjoyed. Comment below, like, share, subscribe, or give me a big thumbs down too. Just do something, anything. I'm Zedmot. Thanks for coming in. Peace.